Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of May 13th. Uh, this week, we're going to jump right in here, as always. You have this buffalo spirit. It says, the abundant universe will provide. You also have this beaver. It says, lay a solid foundation. So it clearly is going to be a time for you to uh, make sure you're laying a solid foundation on anything new that you're working towards. You have the, these two wanted to come out together there. I'm not sure if you saw that. So we'll take them both. Uh, but you have the Nine of Cups on a very simple, basic, uh, a, you know, kind of tarot level. Sometimes I think that the Nines kind of just can represent newness or, you know, like new beginnings or getting into something new. And I feel for a lot of you that there could be some sort of new beginning coming in here. I think that it has to do with your truth, by the way. You have the Ace of Swords here. The Ace of Swords can just simply be your truth, meaning like what you think is true about life or what would make you feel fulfilled and happy and you know, would bring a lot of you know uh, blessings into your life. Uh, we're going to do a Celtic cross, by the way. I'm moving. I'm also I, I'm speaking in Austin uh, next week, so I, I have a little bit of a time crunch. So these readings are going to be a little bit shorter, but I want to make sure that I can get my readings out as well. So you have the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment. And so I do feel there could be some sort of wish coming in for you at this time. But really, I was just getting like newness. And it is interesting. You have two aces here so far. Uh, Pisces also had multiple aces. So, you know, water signs could be on this like new beginning kick. I, like I said, I'm I'm traveling. I'm going to speak in Austin. I'm, I'm flying back home. I'm traveling again, by the way. And I'm also going to be moving at the same time. So, you know, I think that uh, water signs, I, I, did I say earth? I meant to say water, but I think water signs could be kind of like movers and shakers this summer. Uh, not even just this week. You know, I, I think through the entire summer, water, water signs could be kind of like moving and shaking and, you know, doing a lot of stuff. So there could be a lot of new uh, opportunities for you with the Nine of Cups. And um, I would embrace those new opportunities. Again, it's craziness, absolute chaos in my life, right? But at the same time, I think, you know, I'm, I'm finding a lot of fulfillment in it. So you also might find a lot of fulfillment in doing stuff. Uh, you have the moon. The moon is your crossing energy. The crossing energy can kind of be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. And the moon kind of says that you're maybe you're not sure like how things are going to go or how things are turning out. and But the moon... You know, nowhere on the moon does it say stop. The moon is a card of like needing to keep going no matter what. There's a path straight down the middle of the moon and it terminates in some mountains right here. Mountains can represent obstacles in the tarot, but they can also represent achievements. So there definitely could be some sort of achievement uh, that you're working towards where you're like not exactly sure how you're going to get there. And, you know, the interesting thing is, is that you have this card right here. It literally says a long journey brings rewards. So you're clearly, you've been on a long journey and you've been waiting for the rewards. In the area of what's on your mind, you have the uh, Queen of Swords and the Emperor. She kind of flipped out there. Again, I don't know if the camera caught that, but uh, she kind of flipped out when I pulled out this uh, Queen of Swords. The Empress is, you know, I do think you are thinking abundantly. Um, I also like the Queen of Swords because she is very clear on her truth and there seems to be some importance with your truth, as in what is true for you in your life. And whenever I see the Ace of Swords, sometimes I feel that it's really saying like, how can you bring you know, more of your own truth into your life? How can you live a more truthful life in the sense that um, you do more of the things that you love and enjoy? You do more of the things that bring abundance. You do more of the things that make you feel like you're going to glow like the Empress. And, you know, I think that's maybe what you're thinking about. I mean, the, the Ace of Swords is a card of thinking. So I think that a lot of you are having these thoughts of like, how can I glow up, right? Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the Two of Swords. You haven't figured something out yet here, Cancer, is what I feel. I mean, Moon and the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is this or that thinking, but there's like a third place that exists behind her that she hasn't thought of yet. So I think that there could be, you know, different solutions to your problems or not even your problems. Things could be going well for you. And there could just be other ways to accomplish what you're setting out to accomplish. And so the Two of Swords always reminds me to look for third place solutions. You know, everybody thinks for every single issue that exists, right? Everybody thinks this or that, but there could be something that no one's ever thought of before, or there could be a unique approach to something that you're doing in your life. And coming up in your foundation, it would say that if you wanna be extra successful at this time, that you should be looking for like unique approaches or you know different ways of doing things that will probably lead to the most success. In your past, you have the four of wands. Uh, you know, four of wands can be marriage, but four of wands is also um, a card of freedom as well. So I think that for a lot of you, you could be trying to set yourself free or you could be hoping to set yourself free with the Four of Wands. Uh, the Four of Wands it could also be the completion of something. So 
you know, I, I feel for most of you, this probably isn't marriage. I think for most of you, this is you wrapping up a cycle in your life and it's coming up in your past position. So it's like you're moving past one stage, you're stepping through a portal. There's a portal right in the middle of the card here and you're just kind of uh, stepping into a new situation. You do have this card that says, imagination clouds your judgment. So the moon can represent imagination that clouds your judgment. I would make sure with the queen of swords, the ace of swords, like I'm not too worried about it because both of those cards are here. And both of those cards represent getting clarity. So there might have been a situation in your past here where maybe you thought you were going to marry a person or you thought you were going to be with a person and it didn't work out. So that's like one way that this could be uh, you know, showing up in the reading. I think another way that this could be showing up in the reading is that, again, it's it's just saying that you thought, you know, maybe you, you had certain ideas of how, you know, a project or a business or whatever else you're working on, could be your health or whatever was going to go. And it's just not going in that direction. So it basically says, you know, pay attention to the facts. Look at the facts as they are laid out in front of you. Get to the truth. And I think that, that that's what this reading is saying. You have the Five of Cups in your very near future. The Five of Cups says you need to turn around and see these two cups and this bridge and this castle. I do feel like there's something that you're going to be like very grateful for coming in. It's almost giving me blessing in disguise vibes here. I would say almost, not quite. If we if we get the Ten of Swords in the reading, then I will definitely say that this is a blessing in disguise. But what I would say here is, um, you know, I kind of feel like some of you are maybe grieving the loss of something or you're disappointed in how something has worked out in your life. But really, it's like something is going to be working out much better than expected. You have this stars card and this card says a long journey brings rewards. So you've been working, you've been hoping to manifest something in your life for a long time. And it could be anything, you know, it could be love, could be business or money. And I kind of feel like you're finally getting to the end of this long journey. So definitely don't give up now. But I would also encourage you to like stay flexible with the two of swords, the five of cups, I would stay open to uh, different ways of doing things as well here uh, with this reading. You have the Ace of Swords. I kind of get the feeling that this is the most important card in this reading. I do feel it's encouraging you to pay attention to your truth, right? You know, again, and we it, it's kind of like a hard thing to say, but I think sometimes we don't. I, I think if you're doing things that you hate, if you're doing things that you don't want to do, then you are not living your truth, right? So I think you have to be clear on what the truth looks like for you in your life. And life will never be perfect. We will, of course, we will always have to do things that we don't want to do. You know, things will always come up. But what I would say is how can you bring things, you know, more into alignment? How can you make things, even the things that you don't want to do, you know, that we have certain obligations sometimes or whatever. It, it's like, how can you flip that script? How can you turn that situation around into something that you would do or you know that you would be happy to do. And that's what I would focus on here with the Ace of Swords. It's kind of like turning a situation around or, or, or making something, something that you would want to do. And that's what I would focus on. Uh, you have the Eight of Cups. Uh, Eight of Cups is about, uh, or sorry, the Ten of Cups. This is coming up in your closest relationships. Uh, this is an amazing card to have in the area of your closest relationships. Ten of Cups is, you know, fortune after difficulty. It's also like everything you want and desire in your life. So I feel for a lot of you, there could be some blessings. Like I said, it's almost a blessing in disguise reading. It's also almost a glow up reading as well with that Empress, right? Uh, but we're gonna have to see what else comes up. The Ten of Cups, uh, you know, in the area of your closest relationship says that all your relationships will probably be very supportive at this time. Or you might find that people are kind of like more supportive. Uh, also, if you are looking for love, uh, you know, obviously this is amazing. You know, this could be a person that you have a family with. Um, you know, this could be a person that you spend more time with in your life or, you know, any of that stuff. So really, really good energy uh, to come up for you here. Uh, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. This is coming up in the area of your future feelings. So I feel like you're feeling really, really good in the very near future. I feel like you're feeling like you are motivated, you're excited, you know, that's a card of excitement. It's that, you know, initial spark of hope or that initial spark of life. So I feel like you're feeling supported. I feel like you're feeling like you can, you know, accomplish more things that you want to accomplish with the Ace of Wands. So I love to see this. Uh, I also feel like you're in a in like very much of a creative mode. Like you're in this mode of being willing to create new things or work on, you know, anything that's new. Uh, also here at the end for you, your outcome, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, when you live your truth, you typically work on more things that bring more fulfillment the seven of pentacles, he's looking at these pentacles and he's saying, is the juice worth a squeeze? Like, is it worth it 
for you to put work into, you know, certain activities or certain people, or is there something else that will provide more for you? And I feel a lot of you are, again, looking at the truth and you're seeing like, hey, you know, some of these things are good for me. Some things I do are bad for me. I'm going to start moving more towards things that are worth it, that produce a result. And your outcome card also is this uh, this card that, what does it say? Message in a bottle. How, how could I not get that, right? <laughs> but this card is kind of like the as above, so below card in this deck. It also says that you could be kind of sending your prayers off to the universe and getting something, or you could be manifesting things that you've been praying for. It's almost like I see you getting the recipe for something, like as in... Maybe you are getting the recipe for success in your life or you're getting some sort of recipe on how you can, you know, accomplish uh, something that you're trying to accomplish. So again, if you if you start learning about like different steps on how to do something, I would pay attention to that because that's probably like the recipe for success. Oh, here you go. With the moon in the nine of cups, you have the wheel of fortune. I would say this is a very lucky reading. I think that they're, you know, I would also, you know, what I would say to you, Cancer, is again, there, there could be a lot of movement this month or, or even over the summer, not just this week. And there could be some lucky breaks for you or opportunities for you to do things that, you know, create lucky breaks. And I would, um, you know, kind of like double down on those things. Or, you know, if you get invited to events or if you get invited out or any of that stuff, like I would be hopping on those those situations because I think that's where you are going to get lucky is, um, you know, kind of putting yourself out there. With the Queen of Swords and the Empress, you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is quick success. And, you know, again, I think that clearly this reading is saying that your truth is going to lead to quick success. The Eight of Wands is also your your kind of like, was traditionally the arrows of love, meaning that we tell the universe what we want and the universe responds with like sign, symbols, synchronicities. So coming up in the area of your thoughts, I would pay attention to sign, symbols, synchronicities. With the Two of Swords, you have the lovers. I feel there's like a new connection coming in for you this summer. And it might not be this week, but I kind of feel that this reading is more just talking about the energy moving forward from this time of the month forward. And the lovers clearly could be new love. And you have the Ten of Cups here, you know, so it looks to me like there could be a very happy connection coming in for you. With the Four of Wands, you have the Knight of Wands, inconsistent person. You know, you could have been with a past person who sold you a pipe dream, you know, a person who sold you some sort of illusion, you know, could have been an inconsistent person. It's almost not even worth talking about because, you know, again, I feel like you're kind of just moving past it. I feel like you're letting whatever this is go. With the Five of Cups, you have the Six of Pentacles, yet more worth it. You know, Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. But on a personal level, it can say that you are more paying attention to things that give to you and you're getting rid of the things that don't give to you. So I feel like you are kind of very much focused on maybe not necessarily just equal give and take, but you're more focused on situations where they are balanced. You're more focused on uh, working on projects and businesses and relationships where people actually, you know, where you're actually getting what you uh, put into it, right? With the Ace of Swords, you have the Two of Wands. You're gonna have to leave some sort of comfort zone. You and Leo, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you two are right next to each other. You always get these, both of you always get these cards of kind of needing to leave a comfort zone. So I, I do think that everything you want is probably on the side of, other side of something you've never done before. And um, yeah, I would just take like risks. You know, put yourself, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, don't be afraid to take a risk or uh, move in new directions with the two of wands. He's got the whole world in his hands on this two of wands. And he's kind of looking out, you know, I always say he's like looking out in front of him, but he's not looking at the world that he has. So I think you need to realize that you you really have the whole world in your hands. But I really do see you taking the lead here. Two of wands is a card of taking the lead in your life and really making things happen. So, you know, that's definitely showing up here. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have the Ten of Cups. So basically the universe saying I meant what I said. I feel there's some sort of blessing coming in for you in your relationships. Or again, if you're looking for a relationship, this could be a blessing with a new person. Or, you know, a new person could just be a blessing for you. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, what do you know? You have the Page of Cups. I knew that there was going to be love coming up here, mostly because of this right here. And so I feel there could be a new person, a new admirer. And I feel this is like a very, um, you know, passionate connection with the Ace of Wands. I feel that this is a like a growth focused person. I mean, Ten of Cups, this person probably wants to have a family. They probably want to grow things together. Uh, Empress, very abundant connection as well. And even the Eight of Wands, you know, Eight of Wands is like quick growth, quick, you know, quick success, things like that. Uh, like I was saying, it was, it's the arrows of love. You're telling the universe what you want and the universe is sending you signs and symbols.
Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords. Yeah, I do feel like a lot of you could be um, making shifts. Like I, I said this at the beginning of the reading, if something is not fulfilling or if something feels like a waste of time, it probably is. And it doesn't matter what it is in your life. But the Seven of Pentacles, the whole entire reading, really, if we put it this way, is asking you to look at the value that you get out of the things that you put your energy into. And I would make sure that you are uh, kind of like entering into situations that provide value. Now, you have a skull. It says hidden secrets can harm you. I kind of feel like maybe this past person here had a lot of secrets. And I feel like you're letting go of, you know, secretive people. Uh, you have this throne card. It says position of authority. Uh, I feel some of you with that two of wands definitely could be getting into a position of authority. If you want to become an authority, I also feel this is a really good card for you. You have this crib. It says birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. Ten of cups, right? Twice and the empress. So if you're trying to get pregnant, there you go. Uh, if you're not, then this could be something that you're working on or working towards. And I do see an increase in abundance here. You have this chair, uh, chair filled. It says someone new is entering into your life. There you go. Uh, even if you don't want love, you know, this could be a person who helps you or helps guide you. I also feel like some of you have been like working on something that has been teaching you something else. <laughs> so if you're like leaving a project, right, that isn't working, it's like you probably learned a lot from it and you're taking what you learned forward to something new that's going to be much more successful. Uh, you have this wealth card and I do feel that there is a focus on your wealth or you're increasing your abundance here. So you are glowing this month, I feel here, Cancer, and this week, it looks really, really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.